Hey team, it's Coach Rebecca. Welcome to our quick coach basics training. Today we are talking about the importance of inviting, which is one of our core vital behaviors. So I'm going to talk with you about the three ways that you are going to focus on inviting, and then I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you how to set up an event as well as how to set up a group for your next free or paid challenge group that you'll hopefully be getting started here in the next couple of weeks. So the first way that we invite, and it's probably the easiest way, is by creating an event in Facebook and then mass sharing that event with your friends or friends list within Facebook. So why do you create an event? I think one of the things that's most important when it comes to creating an event and why this is the easiest way to let people know what you're doing is because once you have created an event on Facebook, you can easily share both the concept of your free challenge group, number one, but number two, it immediately will populate that event and share it within not only your news feed, but your friends' news feeds for those that say that they're interested in joining you. So as an example, what you're going to want to do is create an event, and again, that can be for a free group, whether it be a seven day or a 14 day free group, like a clean eating group, or an all around group where if a person is following a beach body program, you're going to invite them to join you at, and have you as their coach. All right, guys. So once you've created that event, you can actually from an event in Facebook, send a mass message or a mass invite to your list of friends. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull up your list. You can actually click on invite and it's going to pull up a list of all of your friends, people that they recommend that you send that event to, people that you can categorize by, people that are have gone to school with you or people that are local to you. And you can click on their names and it'll send an event to them or that event to them to invite them to your group. So that is way number one and that's the easy way. Number two way to invite is by posting your event in your personal newsfeed. And so I'll send you a couple of examples of how to do this, but I think this is such a great way to not be salesy, but to share with people what you're doing, what you're excited about, and actually kind of in the message or in the post, encourage them to like it or comment and ask you more about the event. And so again, what you're gonna do in this particular case is you're gonna use a great visual, maybe a picture of you smiling and pointing up to say to a little, um, a little verbiage that says, join me. And then you're gonna actually share with them in that post a little bit about the free group that you're doing. So if it's a free clean eating group, your, the post might say something like this. It might say, Hey guys, we're heading into the holidays, the time where most people can gain up to 10 pounds. I don't wanna gain 10 pounds, so I am hosting a free seven day surviving the holidays clean eating group. We're gonna have recipes, simple workouts, and tips on how to survive the holidays without gaining any dreaded weight. So it's very, very simple, you guys. You notice how I'll, again, send you a couple of different verbiage examples of a post that you can post regarding your free group. And then in that post, you're going to share also a little link to the event that you created so that if they want to join, they can click on that event and say they're interested. And then what that's going to do is it's going to send a notification to you, letting them know that they're interested, and then you can direct message them, share all the details, and get them set up for your free group. All right, the third way, and yes, I know this one's going to be outside of many of your comfort zones, but it's the way I feel is the absolute best way to invite, and that is via direct message. So you can direct message or private message people that are in your friends list. Um, and the, that to me is the most personal way because what I want people to know when I am sending them an invite to an event that I'm hosting, whether it's a free group or a paid group, you guys, is that I really did 
think of them because I thought it was something that would be of interest to them. And it doesn't have to be super personalized, you guys. It can be very much a copy and paste type direct message, but you can tweak it a teeny little bit depending upon that person and their personality. And so your direct message might be just as simple as saying, hey girl, I wanted to give you a heads up. I'm heading, or I'm holding a seven day free clean eating group starting on the 27th of November. I totally saw to be something you'd be interested in. I know that you've mentioned in the past that you struggle around this time of year with staying on track with your nutrition, and this would be a fun way for us to help hold each other accountable and share ideas. So it could be something very, very simple like that. It could be something that's very general, you guys, and you can keep it very basic and just say, hey, Sally, I'm shooting you a message. I'm inviting actually a list of about 10 ladies that I really think I'd like to team up with this holiday season to make sure that we're staying on track during the crazy holidays with our food, nutrition, workouts. And I thought you'd be a perfect match for this group. The group starts on the 27th. It's totally free, no obligation. I'd love it if you want to join me. So again, just a really simple example, you guys, but that's the kind of message that you would do in a direct message where it's you going directly to that person and waiting for a response back from them. And you guys, something that's super important, and again, I know that this direct message piece is a little outside of people's comfort zone at first because they don't want to be perceived as pushy. And I don't know about you, but both of those ways that I just shared with you in direct messaging, I don't feel is pushy at all. One, I'm telling them it's totally free for those of you who are hosting a free group. And so it's very low pressure. Two, I kind of take a very um, non-aggressive approach to it and say, hey, I don't know if it's something you're interested in, but I would love to have you and just kind of put it out there you are going to get no's. But the most important thing to remember, you guys, is a no isn't necessarily a bad thing. 99.9% .9 of the time, we say, it's gonna take a person a good five no's before you're gonna get a yes to where they're actually interested in something. And it's almost, to me, it's a test. They wanna test you to see how serious you are. Is this something that's fly by night that you're just doing and you're inviting them to one time and then you'll never talk to them or mention it again? They're gonna be watching. So to me, the cool thing about a no is it's not a no, no, not forever, but it's a no, not right now, or no, I'm just not interested today. And it gives you an opportunity to be able to just direct message them back and say, hey, that's totally cool. If I have something again in the future, I'll let you know. And just be very passive and let them know you wish them well, but that's totally okay. Um, and then again, you can always still throw out to them during that exchange, hey, if and when you ever are ready or you think that I could be of help to you when it comes to your nutrition or workouts, please message me. I'm only a message away. And again, very non-aggressive approach, but something where it tells them that you're interested in helping them, that you're available and you'd love to help them. And again, it's a great little simple invite to your upcoming free groups. So I just wanted to kind of go through those three options with you. Now, let me quick show you how to create an event, number one, and then I'll also show you how you would either send that mass message out to invite, as well as where, where or how to copy the link so that when you do number two and you're posting on your personal page with a, a kind of a group invite and say, hey, heads up, I'm doing this, it'll show you the link that you're gonna use to share with everyone as well. So let's do that. All right, guys, I'm gonna try and share my screen here, so bear with me here for a second. And da -da 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 I think this is okay. Share screen, okay. I'm gonna go to my home screen, which is right here, and this is what your screen should look like as well. Now. Around over here on the left-hand side, if you can see, it, it shows you a handful of my shortcuts, you guys, but it's also going to show you a thing that says events, pages, groups. You want to click on events. And it's going to bring up any events that you guys were invited to. So I guarantee you've been invited to an event of some sort, and this is exactly where you can find those. So again, it's going to show you a list of those, but it's also going to take you to a little screen right here where you can click on the word create. Again, it's right here. And you're going to hit the word create. And what you're doing right now is getting ready to create your event. When you create your event, something that's very, very important, you do not want this to be a private event. 
Your group in the future will be private because we don't want everyone to see it. But your event itself, you want to be public. And the reason you want that is, if you meant, or heard me mention earlier, I mentioned to you that you, when you post this event or when you create this event and you start to send people invites, if they say they are going or if they click on interested, which are two of the options, going or interested, when it comes to an event that you send to them, if they say that they're going or they click that they're interested, what happens from that point forward is every single time you post something into that event, it's going to show up in that person's newsfeed. So let's just say you invited 30 people, right, through this mass invite process. And, 30 of, and, and let's say 10 of those people said, yes, I'm interested in going. Progressing forward, every single time you post something, it's not only going to go into your newsfeed to make people aware of something that's going on with that event, but it's also going to post into the newsfeed of those 10 friends. And what does that do for you? If those 10 friends have, let's just say for low numbers, 150 friends each, that is giving you an additional over a thousand people that you're going to get your event exposed to. Because I don't know about you, but when a friend of mine says that they're interested in the event and it shows up in my newsfeed to say, hey, Sally Joe's interested in going to yoga night out for the ladies, it grabs my attention and I tend to look at that event and say, hey, what is that? Maybe I'm interested in that. And I might even at that point message Sally Jo and say, hey, what's this event you're going to? It sounds like something I'd be interested in. So it immediately gives you an opportunity to invite basically people indirectly because your friends said that they were interested in joining your event. Okay, so like I said, you're gonna hit the word create. And when you hit create, you want this to be a public event, so make sure you do that. And then, you guys, it's a different episode, but I'm going to show you some tools that you can use to create a visual or a photo. You can leave this blank right now, but again, you're going to want to do a little photo of some sort that says what the event is, because that, to me, is critical. When it comes to Facebook or Instagram or any social media format that you're using when it comes to promoting an event or even sharing your journey, pictures speak a thousand words, you guys. So you want this image that's going to go into your event to be crisp, clear, so you want bright colors, but easy to read font, and you want it to describe exactly what the event is all about, okay guys? But very, very simply and super clear and concise. All right, so I'll show you in a second a couple of visual examples, and then again, I'll create and send you some links for some tools that you can use to create visuals. This is a super simple thing. All right guys, so once you've created your public event, Right here, you've put it, you connect it to your personal page, so your name will pop up right here. We're gonna say, we're gonna enter the name of the event. You wanna keep it as short as possible. So as an example in mine, I will show you. Uh, let's just say, Core to Force Challenge Group, okay? Um, Again, this is a pretty basic one, but you could do anything, you guys. I think I just recently did one. I've got one coming up that's surviving the holiday days. And you wanna keep it, again, very short and simple. It makes you uh, cap it at 64 characters, you guys, but try to keep it as close to like 20 to 25 characters. You don't want the name to be super duper long. All right, guys, your location will always be where you are or at your home or whatever you wanna put there. And then you're gonna actually, I'm gonna encourage that you use a start date and an end date. So let's just say that my event was starting on the 27th, or let's say it's the 28th, the Monday after Thanksgiving holiday. And then you guys, I do want to encourage that you put a start date and an end date. So my, my um, group is a seven day group. So it's gonna run the 28th through the 4th, okay? So we have a start date and an end date. And what that's gonna do too is anybody who's said that they were going to your event, that will show up in their personal calendar as well, which is kind of a cool little thing. 
I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail on that right now, but again, it's a great little way to keep your event fresh in their minds, you guys. All right, now, description. Here's where you're gonna type in your little summary of what the event is all about. So in many people's cases, it might be, uh, let's say it's a buns and guns um, challenge. So we're gonna work on our glutes and our um, arms, and you can just specify daily workouts. So let's, if I can get my computer to go here. Sorry, there's a little bit of a delay for some reason. All right, guys. Um, recipes, daily squats and arms challenge, tips and tricks to staying fit, and loads of free support and accountability. Okay, so again, keep it super simple, you guys. This does not have to be crazy, but you just want to be able to um, specify what they should expect if they decide to join you for the free group. Okay, so it's simple as that, and then you would click the word create, and then it is going to create your event. So again, guys, what that event is going to then look like, I'll click on one of my events right now. And so this is my hit like a girl or my fight for it challenge. And like I mentioned to you guys, this little header on this event says that it's a, you know, hit like a girl court of force challenge. This is my court of force challenge. It says a start date up here. So it's very, very simple. And then in my description, which is remember where I said to kind of go through, oops, sorry where I said to go through and be specific about what the group was going to be all about. Whoops, bear with me here for a second, you guys. Come on. My details on what the group is all about is right here. And it says, if you're interested in kickboxing and getting fit all in one, you got it. We're gonna uh, fill you in on all the core of core has to offer and then some. So it kind of just went through exactly what to expect, 30 minute workouts, nutrition, daily motivation. So this is where those little, that little detail, it doesn't have to be this long, you guys, but you want to again, share with them as much detail about what to expect in your event. All right. So I told you, I was going to show you how to create an event. This was as simple as that. Very, very easy guys. Most important thing to remember is one, make sure it's a public event so that everybody can see it. Two, you want to create a really nice visual, and I'll get you the tools on how to do that. So we want to have a good visual so they know what to expect. And three is we want to make sure that we've got a pretty detailed description of what they can expect in the challenge group so they know what they're buying into, right, or what they're getting into. Um, when it comes to a free group. All right, the second thing I told I would share with you is how do you invite or share this event, which was what, um, from our invite, invite, invite options, it was invite option number one, which is create an event and share a mass invite. So in that case, you're gonna go right here, see the word share, we're gonna hit share, and you're gonna hit the word invite friends. So this was option number one when it comes to inviting. And remember I told you, it's gonna give you some suggested, some suggested individuals. In my case, it pulled up 247 suggested individuals. I have, um, I don't even know how many, I've got 1,800 plus friends, so I could click on all and I could literally go down and invite everybody. I don't recommend that, you guys. Um, so one, you can go with your suggested. You could go with people that are in your local area. So I've got 270 local friends that I could invite, so I could quickly go through there. And I, what I would do is, if I don't wanna invite all 270, I would just go through and select the individuals that I wanted to make sure got invited, okay? So you'll go through and however many you wanna click on, and then you just hit the word send invite, and this is your mass invite option when you can just basically go through and click on however many people you choose to want to send a mass invite to and hit the word send. So that's option number one when it comes to inviting. All right, I told you also that we have the option of a second way to invite, which is post on your personal newsfeed. So that's option number two, is post on your personal newsfeed about the event that you have coming up so that people can see it in your um, newsfeed and they can let you know if they're interested. So that's option number two. To do that, you guys, you're gonna hit the word share again. But instead of saying invite friends, you're gonna say share 
and you're going to say share in newsfeed. So boom, I'm clicking right there, and this is the visual it's going to pull up, and it gives you an auto or an auto connection to your event itself, and you're just going to type up here, and I'll actually just I'm going to use the word test just so you guys can see what this looks like. But if I put in test here, normally you just put in a summary up here and say, "Hey guys, I'm looking for ten friends to join me over the next two weeks that want to focus on clean eating, a 30 minute or less workout every single day to try to survive the holidays and not gain 10 pounds. Who's in? And that's kind of as simple as it can be. So again, I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to show you the word, put the word test here. And I'm going to hit the word post, you guys. When I hit the word post, I'm gonna actually click over here in just a second and I'll show you where that shows up. So I'm gonna to go to my personal news feed. And if you notice, there it is. And it just has the word test in here. And this is what it looks like. Okay, guys? So if you were to type in whatever your invite was, and you'd put, um, click the link to join me or comment below. And that is how they're going to know about your event. And all you had to do was post it in your personal news feed. So I'm going to get this out of here because obviously this is just an example for you guys. So that was option number two. And that was just posting it within your personal news feed to let people know about the event you have coming up. All right, guys, last but not least, option number three, which is my preferred option, and that is get personal, you guys. Send a direct message to, I encourage, let's start, you guys, a great goal, super simple, is make a list or come up with a list of 25 to 30 people that you know would have interest in a free group like the one that you're gonna host. And all you're gonna wanna do, I'm gonna go back to my events here. I'm gonna find my little event. And there's two options here. One, you can hit the word share again and do share in a message. Okay, when you do that, you're just gonna type in the person's name that you want to send this direct message invite to. So let's say I'm gonna send it to Erica Green. If I type in Erica's name, I hit accept. Now, I'm not gonna just send this blanket with nothing in it, you guys. This is where I would type in my little personalized message and just say, hey girl, um, was just thinking of you, I'm hosting a free seven day clean eating group to help me survive the holidays without overeating and gaining the dreaded holiday 10. I'd love to have you join me if you're looking for some help to stay on track this holiday season. Um, and then just keep, let me know. We start Monday, November 28th. So super simple, you guys. Again, very, very simple. You could literally just copy, boom, and paste this in every single direct message. You do not have to get super creative and do something different for every person. You can keep it super simple and just do this to every single person. But again, this goes directly into their inbox. It's much more personalized than just them receiving a random alert that you're doing an event. I personally like this. When people want me to come to an event, you guys, if I get a direct message from them, I pay much more attention to it than if I'm just getting some crazy mass invite that 3,000 people also got. I don't find that to be personalized, and to me, it's not gonna get my attention. If I get a direct message, I'm much more likely to, one, reply back and start to have an exchange with that person and ask them more about their event, and two, I'm much more likely to att attend and participate in that event because I know that they specifically thought about me. They just weren't blind copying me on an event that went out to 3,000 other people. So there you go, that's option one. Again, group mass event. Option two, post within your personal page so you let people know about what you're doing. And then option number three, send direct 
messages, you guys. And so those are our one, how to create an event, and three options on how to start to send invites. All right, guys, simple as that. And actually, I'm going to X out of this so you guys see. And normally, again, when you send that, you're just going to hit the word send, and that would go to that person so they have that direct message invite. All right. I am gonna post this video within our team page on YouTube, you guys, for future training if you need to go back and look at this. Later today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up a private group, which is what when you start that group on whatever date you're doing your very first challenge group in, you're gonna actually be running that challenge within a private group, not within your event, okay, you guys? So again, I'll be posting how to set up a group and how to run a group in another video here in the next couple of days. But let's start first. Take action. I want you guys to create your event and start sending your invites. Have an amazing day. I hope this video was helpful. And you guys, I can't wait to be a part of your very first event.